Hello, my name is Donna Bellamy and I am the author of Raising Happy Hearts, which is now available on Amazon, on paperback and in Kindle. I am also the mother of six children. I, my husband and I have three boys and three girls. Our oldest is 14, our youngest is two. My husband and I have been married for 15 years and we live here in Colorado. I am obviously was raised in Australia, as you can probably tell from the accent. And so today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of not comparing your children amongst each other or amongst other children. Because I know it's common for mothers these days to compare their children amongst um, other children from other mothers of the same age. And so, you know, when you see that other children are walking faster, you know, than your child or that they are reading earlier than your child, then you may think, okay, so, you know, maybe I'm not doing a good job. Maybe there's something wrong with my child. I don't know what, what all those lies that come into our head, but you know, cause I've had, I've had children that have, you know, walked at like nine and a half months. I've also had children that have walked, you know, it's taken them over a year to walk. I've had children that have spoken earlier than other of my children. It's just the way that it is. And so it's important not to compare your children with other children because God made us all unique because we're meant to fit in the body of Christ in a certain way. And one of us may be the mouth, the spokesperson. You know, another of us may be someone who likes to, you know, work with our hands. And so the pe person that has the gift of, of the voice you know, they would probably be the ones that speak earlier. And those that are really great with working with their hands or maybe they have an, like an outdoorsy gift, they may be the ones that are climbing up on tables, you know, and, and are really agile physically. And so it's so important to, to factor that in when you're thinking about your child, that God has put specific gifts and talents and callings in them, which would, you know, make a difference in how quickly they do certain things. You know, even as adults, we all do have different things. There are some people that, you know, are so, so good at baking cakes and the other people that can't bake to save their lives. And it's just, we just put it down to, okay, they just have different gifts and callings and it's just normal. Even um, Albert Einstein, he discovered the theory of relativity, E equals MC square. He's a very, he's genius anyway. So when he was a little kid, he, was, he came from a poor family and some of his teachers thought that he was retarded, that he was mentally handicapped. And he didn't even speak fluently at the age of nine. And we all know that he was a genius. And so, you know, and so that's why it's so important that, you know, we don't just get upset or worried, you know, if our children aren't, you know, developing as fast as you know, your neighbor's child, because your neighbor's child has a completely different gifts and callings and talents and abilities than your child. So just relax, just relax. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So it says in the word that, that God gave, you know, put, gave gifts to the body and some were the fivefold ministries. So that's the, you know, the pastor, the evangelist, the teacher, things like that. The fivefold ministry that is, he gave some to be that. But what are all the rest? You know, all the rest. And are people like the fashion designers, you know, the bakers, the teachers, the pilots, you know, we all those gifts that people have that they use benefit the body of Christ. You know, where would we be if there are no people to fly planes? You know, we wouldn't be able to fly. What if there were people that, um, you know, are, aren't, you know, what if no one was great at cooking? Then we wouldn't eat well. You know, I mean, you can think of all these things yourself, you know, all these gifts, you know, we need the, the astrophysicists and we need the, the doctors and all the rest of it. And, you know, but there are some people that are meant to be doctors and they may, um, you know, show, you know, a high level of reading and intelligence, you know, from a young age, but you know, we want that because they're doctors and there are other people that just have a lot of, you know, wisdom and ability to deal with people and we need that. In, in the body of Christ and in the world. And so we all have our different gifts and callings, okay? So I just wanted to just to comfort you. You know, I've had six kids. I've had some of these thoughts myself where, you know, you see, um, you know, your child, you know, okay, okay, for example, okay, for example, um, there is a baby that's three months younger than my baby. My baby's uh, like two and a quarter, so he'd probably be like two. And he's speaking in full sentences. 
and my son he's just saying you know a few words here and there nothing nothing major you know and if I was you know worried about that then I'd be like well, what's wrong with my son you know why aren't you talking but I'm like it's it's fine he's just not a talker it's fine you know or there was other two uh, babies of the same age and you know my baby would get up and she'd be you know walking all around the church and the other baby would still be sitting down but then this baby ended up reading at a really young age it was just it was amazing to me at how young she was reading whereas my child you know was reading at just the normal age and so you know she was better you know with um, physical things but when it came to this the reading you know it wasn't as much of a strength as it was for this other child and so anyway so hopefully I made that clear so just don't stress about it if your child isn't I mean obviously there's stuff with learning disabilities I'm not talking about that I'm just talking about just regular life you know if your child has is not you know is not keeping up with the other kids as much as you know you would like them to just just don't stress you know if it's something that bothers you, you know pray about it ask the Lord okay what callings and giftings do they have you know what can I cultivate in my child you know because I see my husband you know he wasn't that great at, you know he doesn't really like reading books you know he's not really that great with the, you know academia but he is a man of great wisdom and he is a jack of all trades you know he can just take care of anything if there's anything that needs to be done around the house he can take care of it you know he has a lot of wisdom you know he raises you know, helps me raise the children you know he's an awesome husband but he doesn't really like to read and things like that and so it's fine because that's how God made him so just you know just be confident in that that you know God gave your children certain gifts and callings and talents and abilities for a reason to find out where they excel where they flourish what they love and then cultivate that okay all right the Holy Spirit's reminding me of one more thing because um, I have my two oldest children you know my oldest is, um, is is my daughter and she's very prophetic and more artistic and then my son he's more practical and so my son you know he will um, you know he cooks he cleans you know he um, takes care of the little ones you know he he's very he has a lot of initiative like if he sees the house is messy you know he'll go clean it up you know he'll organize the little ones he'll do all that whereas my daughter you know, she, she doesn't necessarily think that way. If I asked her, you know, Kira, make sure you do your chores for today and, you know, um, clean the kitchen or whatever, she'll be like, okay, and she'll go ahead and do it, but she's not one to just look at the bigger picture and see what needs to be done and get it done. So, you know, I could be more like, you know, to my oldest daughter, why can't you be more like your brother? But that's just, that's absurd because God made her the way that she is. And the gifts and callings that she has is for a purpose, for a reason. And so I cultivate the giftings that she does have. You know, I constantly, you know, I ask, you know, what's God saying? You know, and she can see in the spirit and she has encounters with the Lord. And, you know, she's, you know, like that. Whereas my son, he's, you know, he can also do those things, but kind of not at the, not at that same level, but he's more practical. Like if I ask, you know, say, you know, Jeremy, can you just, you know, take care of this? He'll be like, yep. And he's, he's got it, you know? And so it's just important not to compare our children amongst them, each other, because they have, you know, different callings, different abilities, different talents. They're meant to fit in different places of the body. So we just need to just cultivate the giftings that they do have and focus on them. All right, well, I hope this is helpful. And if it is, please like and share it so it can be a blessing to someone else. And subscribe on YouTube and like my page on Facebook if you haven't already. All right, love you guys. Bye.